Hi, I'm Jasmine and I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa, currently living in the United States. And if you are somebody who has struggled with deep feelings of loneliness, feeling like you're lost, feeling empty, and you've tried and tried to fill that emptiness with so many different things, then my chapter in Magdalene Rising is written specifically for you. And the reason I say this is because this is what I've been through. I have searched my whole life to really just find fulfillment and find how to fill these empty spaces that I felt inside of me throughout my whole life. And I've tried in a numerous amounts of different ways to fill this emptiness. And my chapter is all about how I found that and how you can find that in yourself and in your own life. So I really want to empower you into a place of wholeness, into a place where you know just how beautifully divine and loved and wonderful you are because we all are we all have such a unique beautiful wonderful purpose to bring to this earth and we'll never see that if we're feeling this emptiness we'll never see it if we're feeling broken and it's all just about realizing what's already in there what's already been within us all along so Something about me is that I value freedom so much. I value freedom. I value the ability to travel, to move around. And one of my biggest dreams has been to work from anywhere in the world and to travel around. And the way that I made that happen came from deciding that I was no longer going to live in my dreams anymore. I was going to make them happen. I was going to take action on them. But I had to first feel the sense of wholeness within me. I had to first know that I was worthy of that, that I was worthy of having my dreams manifest, that I was worthy of going after the things that I really want, even if they seemed unconventional, if they seemed unobtainable. I had to first believe within myself what I was capable of to be able to make that happen. So when I decided that, when I found that wholeness in myself, I realized I'm not a limited being. I can create anything that I want to. And it all comes from this deeply grounded and rooted feeling of knowing that I'm loved and that I'm supported and that I will always have everything that I need. But I had to first defeat those demons in my mind that were saying, no, you can't have this. And so in my story, I compare my life and my situation to what I felt and what I was inspired by through the story of Mary Magdalene and her life, particularly from a biblical point of view. And I do this from a biblical point of view because there was something so valuable in that for me. And I don't discourage any account or any representation of her life and her story. But for me, where I really found the gem that I was craving for so, so, so long, I found it through those biblical scriptures and the way she was represented in the Bible. So that is a little bit about me and my story. I hope that that is inspiring to you. I hope that you really suck all the sweetness and nectar out of what I've written there for you and that you take it on and that it you let it affect your heart and you let it change you and change the way you see yourself and the way you see life so that you can show up more whole, more integrated, more in your inner confidence and value. So something that you can do right now today to ground more into that value, into that high value, into that knowingness of who you are and who you are always meant to be and your highest purpose is by first of all just becoming really, really super honest with yourself about where you are versus where you want to be because we need to first be the ones to be accountable. We need to first be the ones to say, hey, I'm actually not really living the life of my dreams right now. I'm not really stepping up fully. I'm not really embodying all of myself. And when we can bring that real honest presence to ourselves, to our lives, then that's when we can take our 
accountability into our own hands. We can take responsibility for ourselves. And we can then decide, okay, what do I now need to do to get to where I want to be? And that might be an easy process or it might be a really difficult process. But it's about taking it one step at a time to really honor ourselves every single step of the journey and understand that it's not about the destination. It's not about where we're going to. It's about the process of getting there and really loving every single moment of that process. So enjoy it from my heart to yours. Just a big, big, big thank you for being a part of this amazing journey and sending all my love and well wishes to you.